Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and two gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get five lines on eight gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The murder trial for 22-year-old Anthony Rahim Ariaga continued today in Mingo County Circuit Court. Ariaga is accused of killing former coal company executive Bennett Hatfield. Hatfield was allegedly shot in the back while cleaning his wife's grave at Mountain View Memory Gardens in Mayer Memorial Day weekend last year. The day consisted of gathering information and logistics from officials working the case and those who had a part in the investigation. Today, the prosecution brought forth several witnesses. Before lunch, the jury heard testimony from Ben Hatfield's twin brother, Dennis Hatfield, who allegedly located Hatfield's body along the riverbank. Hatfield stated that Ben had what he called a cemetery kit and cleaned his wife's and in-law's graves at least once a month. During the cross-examination, the defense asked if Ben Hatfield had any current or past enemies due to his line of work. Dennis claims he had no knowledge of any. The jury heard from the Mingo County medical examiner and a medical examiner expert who was also the lead examiner in the case. After lunch, the courtroom heard testimony from Ronnie Spurlock and Bradley Preston Akers, who allegedly drove Ariaga from Mayer to the town of Wayne after the murder took place. Spurlock lives next door to Mountain View Memory Gardens. He said he and Akers were outside when they saw a man enter his property from the river wearing only boxers. Spurlock told the jury Ariaga stated he had fallen in the river and needed to use a phone. He allegedly let him use the house phone and gave him a pair of shorts. Both men claimed that Ariaga was dry and didn't look like he had been in the river. They also said Ariaga offered them $40 to take him to the Rite Aid in Wayne County. The two stated Ariaga acted as if he was, quote, on drugs, saying he was very anxious and his eyes were racing back and forth. Kelsey Runyon and her dad, Keith Polly, also took the stand. Runyon stated she was the ex-girlfriend of Ricky Peterson and friends with Ariaga and his alleged co-conspirator, 20-year-old Brandon Lee Fitzpatrick. Peterson was also charged with obstruction, accessory after the fact, and false information to law enforcement pertaining to the case. Runyon and Polly live next door to the Rite Aid. They say he acted strange and told them, quote, I had to do it. I had to cap him. Both claimed he meant he had to shoot someone. Spurlock, Akers, Runyon, and Polly each identified Ariaga in the courtroom as the man in the white shirt. Jury also heard from West Virginia State Trooper Contos. The trial will continue throughout the week. In Williamson, Shelby Porter, EKB News.